documents. And we have to be open about it. The allegation is being made that the government is putting all this authority behind the vice president. I want to say in very clear terms to you and to the world, it is a false and malicious narrative. There's not a single truth to it. That's why I can beat my chest and I can say without any fear of contradiction, there's no one in the party, there is not a single person in the MPP who can say that I have asked him or her to support this or that aspirant. I've not done it. And I know why I haven't done it. I've not set out to dismiss any MMDC or any political appointee because they're supporting a particular aspirant. No minister, no deputy minister has been thrown out of his job or even been threatened because of their support for their presidential, their preferred presidential aspirant. The members of my cabinet who are openly campaigning for particular candidates, who, are, who, are not the, who is not the vice president, it has not affected their presence in the cabinet. There's been no indication to them whatsoever that somehow or other I am disturbed by what they're doing. It's their right. They're party people. They can make whatever choice that they want, like all of you. You're entitled to make your own choices. I have my choice. I also have a vote. Yes. The fact that so many people, perhaps the majority, I don't know, of people who supported me now support another candidate doesn't mean that they're doing so at my behest. They're members of the party. They're entitled to make their own decision about who they want to support. Does that, does that amount to intimidation or coercion? We should get away from that language. Our party is not that kind of a party. We know from the history of the MPP that a president cannot foist a candidate on this party against his wishes.